Hey, uh, this is our third episode of Mass Effect. We're picking up right where we left off. Um, I'm not, I know we're trying to get to the beacon, but I'm not really sure what else we're doing. Um, oh, is that the beacon? Yes. Oh. That's why I saved it for this episode, because we're about ready to hit some story. Hey, we found the beacon. So the, the Protheans, do you remember what they are? Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Well, Protheans are that race. Uh, all of our technology are it is based on like it. Oh, yeah. Dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. That's troublesome. No, don't touch it. It's too big. So it's probably bad that that blew up. Probably. <laughs> Well, I'm assuming that the game wanted it to because it was a cutscene. It was nothing yeah. that you did. Although I think that would be very cool. Space squid. It is a space squid. Is it alive? No, it's a ship. Well, there have been ships that have been alive, like in um, that X Men episode. We identified the Star ship Trek. that touched the Star down Trek. on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. I know that they part. managed to save the colony. And the beacon. Oh yeah. One of the humans you know. may have used it. Do it is at all? I don't. What are you doing? It's my necklace. Uh, I know that voice. I'm gonna have to look it up later. Yes, I do. It's um, Deanna Troy. And she also did the voice of the female gargoyle in Gargoyles. <laughs> Wait. Random, Dr. useless Did it Jonathan knowledge. Franks? Wasn't he? Yes, we've like talked him. about this before. Wow. <laughs> Jonathan Franks is in everything. You had us worried there, Shepard. And you like it that way. How are you feeling? Not great. Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security <laughs> field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Don't blame yourself. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know. Who's that? But you're off. still a jackass. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. I am not going to say my opinions on any of the characters because I, I end up playing with the same characters every time because I like some and I hate others. So. Was I hurt? What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine, but I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Not a dream, a vision. <laughs> I saw. Is the near is her neck really big? Death, yeah. Destruction. She oh, does have a thick neck. She's like Commander Giraffe. <laughs> I better add this to my report. It may. Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, Jack, ask it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? What happened to Williams? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. You wanted to talk. 
You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invaded. The Council's going to want access. I did my job. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. No. A rogue specter's <laughs> trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. He wanted the beacon. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Are we protecting Saren, Saren himself with the Geth? <laughs> I just, I hate that line of dialogue. I don't know why, but it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? A vision. Click it. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? War. What is it good I for? I saw synthetics. Absolutely Death, nothing. Maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. You whisper a lot. You need to... We need to I don't project like you do. I don't have an epic voice. Uh... Forget it. They'll think I'm crazy. You are we crazy. We what information <laughs> is stored in the Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Sarah took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has almost this entire people. video is going to be this kind. He has an army of yeah. his command, <laughs> and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Not if I can help it. I'll find some way to change. Sounds him like down. John McClane. It's not that easy. He's a spectre. She's Jane McClane. He can go <laughs> and do almost anything. <laughs> That's why we need the council on our side. I ran out of bullets. <laughs> we expose him. Grr. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke you, his what? special status. <laughs> I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. Okay, so we're about we ready right to uh, explore the ship. Head up to the bridge uh -huh. and tell um, Joe There's only a few things I'm going to do. Okay. So. Um. Oh, hey. I oh, hope hey, die. what? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Death Clutch just came online. I hope that the pop-up didn't go into the video, and I hope he doesn't try to call me. Because <laughs> yep. he's a ruiner. I, yeah, of life. Um, yeah, if he interrupts our video, I'm going to go to his house and okay. kick his ass. Okay, so, do you want to talk to Caden? Yeah. Oh, okay. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Uh, Jenkins will be missed. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been I don't believe in luck, cruise. soldier. The first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. I don't believe in his promise. The Citadel Council is not going to be happy. Yes, you do. Not his. <laughs> stupid face is all around it. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> Whatever's going on, the captain can handle it. Absolutely, Commander. Anything else before we head ashore? No. We're headed for the Citadel. When we get done with business, you and I should work out a liberty rotation. Some of the crew could use it, Commander. Okay. Um, real quick, I'm going to open my locker, uh, grab some more stuff I won't use. Do you want to talk to Dr. Shakwas? Sure. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Investigate. Um, Caden. How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L2 configuration. 
Sometimes there are complications. Complications? What kind of complications? <laughs> Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Hayden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Investigate. Personal questions. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But she humanity just needs the Alliance. Yeah, it seems that way, doesn't it? Through the traverse. And the Alliance always needs Well, the, uh, this game does have romantic interests. Oh, good lord. Goodbye. And adult themes. I should go. Oh, no. Goodbye. And same sex relationships. Those adult themes are just too too much for me. Are we talking to Ashley? No, I don't like her. Unless I can go up and say, I don't like Are we you. talking to Anderson? No. Okay. I don't need any interest. <laughs> I know it's not that guy. It's but not. It's, guy. it's, it's not totally the like Allstate guy. This is gonna be something through the whole game. I know it. We could go down there, but there's really no reason. That's engineering. It's just to get a little Kodaks. Well, you said and you I'm, had a couple things you wanted to do. Do them. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not wanting to 100% this round. Um, here, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, you see how it says uh, there, like examine. It. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got plus 10 XP for a Kodak. There's tons and tons of those in this game, and oh. I don't, I don't feel like 100%ing it. Okay, so we just need to talk to Paranoid here. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Talking to Oz. Oz. From Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, I never <laughs> watched Buffy. That's too bad. I know, like three fourths of the uh, internet now hates me, but um, <laughs> I love, I love the movie. Awesome! That means that three fourths of the internet loves me. <laughs> <laughs> eh, you can be hated. I'm the voice. You're just the game. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm. Look at the size of that ship. Go, Ashley. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? Because he's very short. Firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. For now. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. This is also very epic music. Normandy, yeah, this, this game. <laughs> Sometimes overly epic music. It's like, oh, we're uh, taking off from the dock. <laughs> okay, it felt like the game just froze. <laughs> <laughs> This is an outrage! The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian! <laughs> That's all right! The Turians don't found colonies <laughs> on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. Those are the three councils. Yeah, you can't huh. just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of a council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half <laughs> your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. He's dangerous. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. 
The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. But that's why we hate you. Okay, I think this is perfect timing. Um, <laughs> we basically have 15 minutes of cutscene there. Yeah. So, let me just save it here. And I suppose we will just be seeing you next time. Bye.